Welcome back and many thanks for staying with us. If you're not watching Morning at NTV, you are doing a big disservice to yourself. Your house could be on fire and you don't know simply because you didn't get information on Morning at NTV. Stephen Bide is on the ground and is ready to, to divulge a few details about what is happening within the jurisdiction of Lunguja. A very good morning in Bide. What's the latest acquaintance? <laughs> Yes, good morning to you, Ramya Busiku. Indeed, if you have a child, you may not know that that child needs, has some special needs. They could be speech, they could be language, they could be mental health uh, needs. Uh, but here, I'm at the Mukisa, Found Mukisa Foundation in Lunguja. I'm just here to understand what it means uh, living and uh, bringing up uh, children with special needs. And of course, uh, these are some of the mothers here. They are here, uh, they have brought brought up children who need and have special needs. I want to understand from them what does it take, what does it mean having these children uh, with the special needs. Can't and you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that 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 Yaweza umaka anga agonda. Nengende na mutamba, nebansi ndi kawa neno. Nesitia kumukisa, mutani kukula thara. Na mutamba mitiana? Ya, jenna sokila. Nebansi ndi kawa nukweni na mutamba walanyo. E, Nesitia anga kumukisa foundation. Kakati uh, kufali wa mle itawano, chari chisera chi ilabu, wanacho labi ya weche nja ulo? Na mle itamuwa mna naguno umaka. I am not going to go down and sing. I am going to 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 sing. I a man young and the grace carle, one of Aptama mm -hmm. Jovia. Natanico Cujano Kumuxa, Miaka Gabilum Sang, Nino Man over them Nang and Dimama, Catu Man or you, one or Yawes Yaka Kumnam Nan, a damn bad den I ever ruined in you, Namula Vida, Najata Tula, Tatasova Queva, Coche Colera, Necatia Solo Quevisa, a Sovolo Tula, Sovolo Quogera. Ata sobola no kukola chi o kusoma kwa kati ali kum P7. Abana ngaba no uh bay no weta vuanja uro. Mm. Bay na kuvanga bayambi wachawa muku vambi tongu le vienja uro wa government wa parliament, chichi no kwa chino kuvanga chikole wa o kuyamba bana bana. Fenga ba zadde tweta go kuyambi wa kuvanga bamu tuli ba single man. Tetuina bami. Eh? Ne we tubango radio mwana wati. To quarti we quet so so lot to a match of volam kisa yet quarti wechisa would we batuga janku mukisofuni sun no lid any lame the water kawano. Avana no no lango mana so rokuba ko chakola. Nay enough a tukubomo langa bala lava so to la baba benet sanga mukisa we kola. But go very away. Okay, we're in your uh, also switch to this side because there is a uh, I don't know whether it's a duck a nurse or what, but I guess she's doing some physiotherapy uh, for the young one here. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, sir. And the name? My name is Enoch. Mm. I'm an occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what does it entail when you talk about uh, physiotherapy? Yeah, I said occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what we do, mm. we use activities to make sure that these children get to their milestones. Like mm. this one got a condition called cerebral palsy mm. that can that affected the way his body works. Mm. There's normally delay in development. Like a child expect to sit before one year. Mm. This one started sitting when it was more than one year. Mm. Yeah. So what we do, like this one is for kneeling. I'm mm. um, doing strengthening exercise to make sure that his trunk is strong enough. How long would it take for him to get better or oh, even uh, stand up on him by himself? Yeah, probably because he was affected on the brain. Mm. We don't just predict, but we just need patience. As we do these exercises, they keep on progressing. 
like I said, there are those that couldn't sit, mm. but this one can sit now. Okay. Yeah, this way. Oli, mama omwa no no. Oli mama oli. Okay, mbuli zetu dada mama omwa no no mbuli de. Ah, kuzala omwa no. E wasotia. Mbuli sebo wase. Mbuli linya. Hmm. Mbuli chira ba Agnes. Hmm. Gwe mama wa Peter. Nze mama o. Kati mbuli de omwa no no. Ha, umso umso umta umta nikoto kumanya tieta gokuu yambiwa. Naluawo kumumanya mm. kuba yali talaga sign yonna mm. naye nagenda okulaba nga akula stages za tukako tabikola mm. nembera muno okusomoze bwanga bwomanyi mm. natuke sana baba wangamba mutwale ko kumukisa aine miyake meka agenda kuwezena e miyake na mm. naye tatambula tayogera mm. Na ye chirunji cha ina, mm. stage jatu kako, mm. bulichinta jatu kola ampola ampola. Mm. Na ye tufuno kusomoze wa mubantu, mm. babela wa mwogelela, gwa wazala mle maawichi. Mm. Nga wako sosora ne family ze tuvela mu. Mm. Na yoyo mwana guwa mukisa, mm. wabu obela na ye. Mm. Oh, inebi uji vina. Mm, okay. Let me also speak to uh, the lady here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, I'm told your parents in Namaganda. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, uh, just bring, bring us to speed. You are one of the found, co founders of this project here, the Fa Mukisa Foundation. Mm. Uh, so far, could be 15 years since I knew about you. Mm. Uh, tell me about uh, taking care of these kids, uh, even the vision to, for taking a rehabilitation mm. and giving support to these kids. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yes, Mukisa is now 15 years old. We started 15, actually about 16, about 16 years ago. And the reason for starting this center was because we noticed that there are so many children with special needs or with disabilities that we're not having any care or any help. And then we also found that most people in the communities were referring to these children as cursed, uh, are being uh, parents are being punished for their sins. So there was a lot of stigma mm -hmm. and myth attached to disability. So our aim was to demystify disability, but also help the parents cope with the situation so that they can help their children live purposeful lives to their full potential. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what it exactly happens if one is watching us now and has this child and needs speci has special needs? Mm -hmm. What have exactly happens here? What do they? What do you do with the kids as they come here? So when they come here, we treat every Every child as an individual. So children come here with different disabilities. As we've had with the moms, most of them come because someone has referred them, but some of them come because they've noticed something wrong with their child. So when they come here, we do an assessment. And this assessment informs us on what we need to do. So some children may need occupational therapy, some will need physiotherapy, some children just need education, some need referrals to hospitals. So whatever they need, we will do. And then we don't focus on the child alone. We also focus on the entire family and the community where they come from. So many parents come to us, maybe they are single parents, maybe they have no source of income. Then we'll do training for the family and also help them get a source of income. So for example, as you see over there, we have vocational skills training. So we have also children that come here when they are older and they need to learn how to get a source of income for themselves so that they can lead independent lives. Then we also have our moms that we train in tailoring, we train them in a soft making, we train them in bead making, uh, doormats and all those things so they can also have a source of income. Mm. Uh, and then also I've seen majority of these people, in fact all of them are just mothers. I haven't seen a father. Uh, okay, one is there. Okay, yes. I also speak to him as we wind up just yes. in, uh, in three minutes. Yes. Why are the fathers absent in this, helping the young children with special needs? Actually, I think the dynamics are changing. We are getting more and more fathers involved than we had before. Mm. And also society maybe attaches a lot more f pressure on the men mm. that they feel like, oh, they have this belief that, you know, this child is not from my clan or this child cannot come from our family because we've never had any child with special needs. But as we do more awareness campaigns and as we help the fathers understand and come to grips with the situation, 
on, more and more fathers are getting involved. Mm -hmm. So we see a number of fathers joining. We also have single fathers where it's the mother that walked away. Mm -hmm. So it's changing and it's, it's nice that more fathers are involved. And also in our medical team, we have more men than women. So ma oh. men are really coming up mm -hmm. to embrace disability, but also to work with the children. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 10th November is going to be International Mental Health Day and yes. Uganda, which I'll be commemorating it this month. Yes. Uh, there are key stakeholders, the government, the uh, Minister of Education, Minister of Health, yes. Parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of special needs or urge that would you make for these leaders of ours? Mm -hmm. What can they do to help such kids? Yes, I mean, what I would like to say is to make this a priority because uh, someone said all of us are a step away from having a disability. So it could, be it could be a mental disability, it could be a physical disability, but it could be that a child you have mm -hmm. gets a disability. If we don't set systems in place and policies in place that can help our children and help people with disabilities, when it comes to our turn, we'll also have no uh, net to fall back on. So I really would like to tell people in Parliament those who are making the laws, those who even the implementing peop uh, partners up there, to think of this as priority because all of us need good systems, nurturing systems that will nurture these children to their full potential. And when they're nurtured to their full potential, it's a lesser burden to the government as well. Because if this child is independent, has a skill, can pay tax, mama can go to work, then all of us benefit. But if he Thank neglects you. them, then we have more problems. Thank you, Florence Namagana, the co-founder of Muxaf foundation as i wind up this conversation let me just say kudos to the father here just give him a high five because i know many fathers are absent he, yes she's saying that men are coming up but i see that many men are shining bring up uh, children with uh, special needs. This is Stephen Mbidi on Pepe Swe Chibuga, uh, been here yeah. at the Mkisa Foundation mm -hmm. in Rungujia with the mothers here who have brought their kids uh, for some support and care as they need special needs. Back to you, Romeo Usiko in the studios. Well, thank you very much, Stephen Mbidi. Yes, a very good morning to those six point one million uh, persons with disabilities right here in Uganda. Very good morning to you. Morning at NTV sees you and supports your endeavors in that regard. We shall push for inclusive environments to be expedited courtesy of this government yes, yeah, so that more public social services are levied to persons with disabilities as they continue to budget in numbers at six million uh, PWDs within this country. My name is Rome Busiku. Please lend a hand. Yes, show some love and compassion to a refugee. Yes, in the nearest vicinity. Yes, we are saying we need to show more compassion and not the hatred that we are seeing in the in, on the international scene in that regard. To the kings, queens, boys and girls who are celebrating their birthdays on this particular day, be cognizant of the fact that COVID-19 is still here, especially Farid, a.k.a. Fash. You do have a special message coming in from Kobe. Yes, you'd better have. And uh, also Juma, your friend, and Habert Samanya, a.k.a. Bishop, our senior librarian, and also Juma Kiria, our special report actually wishing you a courteous and special birthday on this special day but be cognizant of the fact that 126,625 cases of COVID-19 have been registered 3,200 uh, 3, plus individuals have been killed as a result of this heinous pandemic and over 251 million cases have been registered on the whole global state 5 million deaths have been also registered on the whole global state